Are you ready to learn Blender? If you followed along with the last video, you've gone and downloaded the latest version of Blender and you've installed it and go ahead and run that and you're going to be faced with a screen similar to this one where you have all of these options and maybe you're already panicking a little bit and going, do I need to understand what all of these are? Do I need to read through them? Don't worry. You can go ahead. These options are perfect for the beginner. So just go ahead and click next. And now you're looking at the menu that pops up every time you start Blender from now on. So if you've already run Blender, you're already looking at this. And we don't need anything on this right now, so go ahead and just click off of it. And now we're into Blender proper. Now let's take a look at this screen real fast. Notice that the Blender screen has this big 3D view in the middle. But over here on the right, we've got a couple of smaller windows. And then across the bottom, there's a thinner window. Now we'll get into what all of these are for, but right now I want your focus to kind of be on the 3D view here. Notice the 3D view has some menus across the top, has some tools across the left-hand side, and it's got, it's got a lot of really useful stuff in here. And feel free to click and play with stuff, but the first thing that I'm going to teach you is how to select objects and then get rid of them. This is kind of something that a lot of people do. They look at this default scene and they go, well, this isn't what I need. And they clear it out and make their own. We're going to do the same because what I want to teach you next uh, doesn't work so well with the simple cube. So how do we select objects in Blender? Well, real simple. Notice on the left here, there's that kind of uh, wireframe pyramid thingy. That is the camera object. And, you know, for 3D printing, I don't really use the camera object very much. So let's select it just click on on anywhere on it and you'll notice boom it turns into a kind of uh bright yellow orange color that means that it's been selected now on the left here there's it looks like a sun on a stick and that's exactly what it is it's a it's a light source so go ahead and just click on it and notice that the camera is no longer selected so what do we do if we want to select multiple objects at the same time? Well, you might already know this, but if you hold down shift and then click on an object, the previously selected object will still be selected, but now the secondary object or the object that you just clicked is now selected. And it's actually the primary selection. Notice how the outline around the cube is brighter than the sun object here, than the light source here. If you hold down shift and click on the camera, notice now the cube has gotten a little bit darker. That's because in Blender we have something that we're primarily focused on, but then additional selections as well. There's another way that we can do this. So go ahead and just click off of the objects to deselect all of them. And you might have noticed while we were selecting things that this menu to the right here, to the upper right here, the objects were getting highlighted in this menu here. And yes, that's because this shows everything that's in our scene in 3D, but laid out in a different way. So just click on the cube object and the cube is selected in the 3D view. Hold down shift and click on the camera object and the camera is selected. Hold down shift and click on the light object and wait, the camera got deselected. Well, that's because in a list view like this, you can select the first object and hold down shift and select the last object and it selects everything in between. But if you're in the middle, then it goes up and down. Well, what if I wanted to select both of them? Well, in this view here, you hold down in this, it's called an outliner. In the outliner, you hold down control and click to select things out of order. And now you can actually hold down control and click the cube and make it your primary focus. and. So control and click kind of acts like shift and click does in the 3D view, but that's because we've got a list view versus, you know, a 3D view. Now there's another way to do this. So go ahead and click on 3D view anywhere off of the objects to deselect everything. And we're going to go up to the menus in the upper left hand of the 3D view where it says view, select, add. Well, we want to select. So open up the select menu and you see all there. Now notice that next to all, there's a kind of gray A, but we'll talk about what that A means in a second. But click all and boom, we've got everything selected. And we can go up to select and click none 
to deselect everything. Now, do you remember that A there? That's the hotkey for it. So on your keyboard, you can press A to select everything real quickly. So that's all the ways that we could select everything in the scene. Now, how do we delete them? Well, there's a couple of different ways that we can do that as well. One way you might expect is, well, on the keyboard, there's a delete key. And if I hit it, we can delete everything. Let's give that a shot. Sure enough, that worked just fine. Now, I want to bring these back so that I can talk about different ways of deleting. And so I need to talk really quickly about how I undo something in Blender. And you might already know this one. How do you undo in anything? And the answer is, God forgives, but control Z undoes. So hold down the control key and hit Z on your keyboard and that undoes it. We'll do that again in a different way. But first, I want to go ahead and show you another way to delete. Remember that outliner view on the right hand side? You can right mouse click on any of those objects and there's a delete. And notice that the hotkey for delete is X. So we can use the delete key or X. We'll give that a shot in just a second, but go ahead and delete. There we go. Now we need to undo, but we're going to do it in a different way. So let's go up to, uh, it's actually up above the 3D view. In the Blender menu, there's Edit, and there's Undo. So there's Undo right there. Now, in the 3D view, we can also right mouse click on it, and there's Delete on the bottom there. But remember that X key? Let's go ahead and hit X. And when you hit X, it pulls up a Delete menu so that you can confirm that you want to delete it. Now, why would you use X instead of the delete key? Uh, because if your hand is sitting on the keyboard, it might just be closer to hit the X key, but then you have to click afterwards and both are fine. The X key was the old way to delete in Blender and then they changed it. So the delete key also worked, but either way, we've got a clean scene with nothing in it. We've managed to delete everything. So that's good, but now we need to add something back into the scene, something that's interesting, something that we can look at from all angles. And so how do we add objects in Blender? Okay, method number one. Notice at the top of the 3D view, there is an add menu. So click that. And then we have this menu of all sorts of options that pop up. Now, before we select any of them, I'm going to say select away from the menu because I'm going to show you how to pull that up wherever your mouse is. And this is super useful on your keyboard. Hold down shift and press a and notice that that same add menu. Notice it's the same menu up here or if you hold down shift and press a. But now it's under your mouse and wherever your mouse is, if you just move your mouse and hit shift a move your mouse and hit shift a move your mouse and hit shift a the menu goes with you so i kind of prefer that version but if you forget it well it's right there on the 3d view now what are we going to add so hit shift a and we've got meshes and curves and surfaces and metaballs well what we want is actually right at the top it's a mesh and then move your mouse over the, from the mesh menu to the sub menu that pops up and we've got planes and cubes and circles and UV spheres and cylinders. And down at the bottom, we've got monkey monkey. Yup. Click the monkey. There we've got a monkey head in our scene and notice in the outliner view, this monkey head is named Suzanne. So this is Suzanne. Well, I think that this is where we're going to wrap it up in the next video. We'll talk about how we can rotate the view around, look at Suzanne from other angles, because it's, it's very important that we're able to do this. But right now, what I want you to do is, well, what I want you to do is go up to Blender and hit File, New, and a general scene. We're gonna undo everything that we've done. Don't save, go back to here, and redo everything, select everything, delete it and add Suzanne in and use whatever method you found along the way, whatever method you remember. And then in the comments, let me know which one of these methods for selecting and deleting and adding objects did you find the most natural for you and that you think you're going to make a habit out of. But until then, 
that's this video. I want to thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. And until then, remember, you are a precious child of God, and I care a lot about you. So take care of yourself. I'll see you next time.